Hi guys, welcome to Root Stem, and in this video we're going to be looking at painting these psychers from the Blackstone Fortress. Hi guys, welcome to returning to subscribers. If you're not already subscribed, it gives us Give us a subscription uh, from down below. Give us a like and share the video if you do like what you see. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be painting the primary... Well, I keep calling them a primary psychers, but I suppose they're rogue psychers. Um, but uh, if I'm going to be versing against Imperium with my Imperial Guard, I might actually use them as primary psychers and just have me as a count as uh, sort of chaos force. But... The rest of it is going to be done later. We're just concentrating on these two in this video. So, let's get cracking. So first up, I'm going to be blasting the cloaks with cone red. Um, make sure you've got your handy toothbrush ready for your envies because this is quite a thickish. I find it to be a quite a thickish paint. I don't use the air paints because I don't like them. Um, but if you can't use an airbrush, just hand paint the... Um, the cloaking. Next up, we've got Evil Sun Scarlet loaded in the airbrush. I'm going to do like a feathering highlight around some of the areas. If you haven't got an airbrush, do some heavy dry brushing with this colour. So, some thin down your shabty bone next. I'm going to be painting the inside of the cloak, trying to avoid any uh, sort of feet. Um, if you think you can't get to a certain area because your brush size is too big, get a smaller brush. Don't risk it. Right, so next up, I'm just going to get some white and I'm going to mix it into the Yosemite bone and I put a little, quite a bit of water in and I'm wanting it to kind of do that when I paint and the reason for that is I'm just going to kind of highlight towards the bottom of the cloak but I'm not wanting it to show too much and if you do this a couple of times you get a nice smooth transition So, next is trousers. Now I'm going to paint the trousers initially with Dark Reaper. Again, you might need a couple of coats because I'm filling it down. And you might only need one because it's quite dark, well, especially if you do it from the back of the coat. So, let's paint the trousers in D Reaper. Just being careful, use a decent brush. Being careful not to catch any of the cloak. Next, I'm going to add some Mechanica Standard Grey to my wet palette. Thin it down a little. It is a base paint, so it tends to be a lot thicker than the layer paint that we've just put on, which is uh, the Dark Reaper. And what I'm going to do is use this as a highlight. So I'm going to paint over what I've already done. I'm going to leave the recesses. So this is going to go on. I'm going to leave the recess of that reaper, so I've got a nice basing platform. This is thin enough to go on, not causing too much of an issue. Next, add a bit of Abministrat and Grey and a bit more water to the Mechanica Standard Grey on your palette. And do some edge highlighting or just highlighting the things that you think need a 
bit more reinforcement. On to lead belcher now. We're just going to be painting up the armour and the chains. So don't forget that the air match there is a belt around it as well. I'm going to try and keep that as neat as I possibly can. Next, Old Faithful Agrax Earthshade. So we've got the silver drawing. We're now going to hit the cloak. Yeah, cloak and the underside of a cloak. That's all going to be uh, Agrax. Don't put it on too heavy. So on to the second favourite. Milne Oil. This one we're going to be painting the metal. And we're going to be doing the trousers. So on the legs you can pretty much just smother it in no well don't smother it but coat it in the known oil. Rhinox Hyde next champions and we're just gonna put that onto the belts and onto the gun pouch once you've done that hit it with a slight highlight of Morn Fang Brown so that's paint on the right uh, Scott right oxide sorry old terminologies and get with a highlight of Morn Fang now this next one might confuse you, Tinny Tin from Valaisio. I'm just going to water it down a little bit. This is going to be for the, um, the actual little icons that's on their chests. If I try and show you as best as I can. Chests are right on here. So this is the little belt buckle, which is kind of chaosy. And then, so it's watered appropriately, I'm going to paint the whole the house icon in this colour. Now, Tinny Tin is very brass orientated, um, so if you've got a brass colour, that's the best way of doing it. I quite like it for chaos symbols. Um, I just think it just looks, looks like an old school sort of corn logo and it's not going to distract too much from a lot of the colours that we've already got on here so now guys some Agrax Earthshade gloss if you've got some smaller brushes you might need them and some larger ones the, uh, the actual across we're going to paint some of that onto so give it a nice finish just be careful around the cloaks and then we're also going to paint the Agrax Earthshade and oh, let me get that right, there we go uh, we're going to paint the gloss one because I quite like the gloss one for the leather so if you paint it on the uh, gun holster and the belt and of course don't forget the little belt buckle I'm into the next one right next up some Necron compound. I've already dry brushed that into the silver. And I've already done a little bit of the dry brushing on the now finished um, icon. Almost a little bit. I've gone a little bit too heavy, I think, on that one, but that's fine. And then I'm just going to get some uh, Stormhorse silver. Make sure I got a nice point on the brush. And I did the dry brush the shoulder, but to me, this bit just needs just a little bit of that stormhorse silver just painting on. I don't want to ruin the surrounding areas, so I'm not dry brushing that. I'm just going to kind of edge highlight this particular silver rather than uh, mess around with dry brushing and potentially mess up the figure. So that's that. 
on to the next stage. Next up, some thin down grace here going into the fur cloak. Maybe not too thin. And I did forget to mention both sides of the cloak, you want to paint the grey seer in, and you also want to do the tentacle arm. Because we're going to do something a little bit different and special with that later. Right now, while we're waiting for the two layers of spirit seer to dry, get out your rat skin flesh. You can use Bumman's Glow if you want to. Paint down. Let's get this flesh painted. This is going to be completely different to what I've done for the other ones. Uh, I've actually paid, you know, use contrast for them. I'm way off camera. In this one, we're going to be doing a bit more of an old school technique. Next up, I'm going to put Reichland flesh shade all over the flesh. Now, you probably. If you use rat skin, my rat skin, I had to put three layers on. So just be careful with it. While waiting for the flesh shade to dry, I crack out some white contrast paint wildwood and get the front side of the furs painted. Right, now we've got brown dry and it's back to the flesh. Now again, I'm getting some more rat skin. And we're going to thin it down. It needs to be quite thin. And we're going to lay it over the top, leaving, of course, the recesses. Next, I've got some thin down Cadian flesh tone mixed in with a little bit of the thin down uh, rat skin. And we're going to start building, building. And to be honest, because you're using thin paint, this actually dries real quick. Um, so we'll just paint it over. And then some more watered down Cadian flesh tone, just pure on its own, but make sure it's watery. You don't want it strong. And some Kislev flesh, just to pick out the final highlights of the face. There's an obsol section. Go back to your Reichland, thin it down a little bit with some water. And just put it into the eyes and mouth just to redefine those areas. Blood Angel Red Contrast Paint. All we're going to do with this is to paint up the inner linings of the fur coats. So now for your special. So, on the tentacle, I'm going to put Telesar Blue. Or is it Tele? Yeah, that one. At one end. Put it on quite heavy. Venetian colour. And then, at the other end, part way round, I'm going to put Lupus Pink, again, quite heavy, so it's coming around here, and then evidently you just grab hold of, just make sure that you dip your brush into the other, and then you get a nice transition, to like a light purple before it goes to a pink. And that way you get some form of Tunisian looking tentacle without really having to do much work. Next up, some Evil Sun Scarlet. We're just going to dry brush that into the edges of the red. And any, just 
be careful any ridges they are quite fragile these figures not as fragile as the spindle drones but not the greatest and there we go these two are now done to join the other ranks hoping that looks all right on the camera I have added a bit of airbrush purple into the side there and of course I've based them up to make them add to my potential chaos army. So what we've got left, we've got the Megavolt cultists, we've got the uh, beastmen and we've got the marines and of course we've got the lord uh, still in the set. I've not assembled him because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing um with that one at the moment don't know if i'm going to be doing it as an expert level piece or as a quick one they weren't that hard to do and we were quite quick to get them done and make them look half decent ready for games of um yeah black snow fortress next up it's going to be these chaps we're going to be painting up some beastmen and i'm hoping we don't separate like these do because if you can see that one for some reason halfway through painting it started to come apart no idea why but Oh well, they're only going to be uh, used every now and again and they're not really going to be picked up that much, hopefully. So, thanks very much for watching, we'll see you next time.